Here we are at the Agueda for the 12th round of the FIM Motocross World Championship. The track looks good, and the MXGP of Portugal will kick off in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Hi everybody and welcome back to some more MXGP Pro here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna here. Now in today's episode we're in Portugal for the championship races and this is a circuit that I haven't actually raced around because it wasn't on the last MXGP game. So let's get straight to the qualifying, learn the circuit and hopefully get a decent result today. So here we go. Right, so it looks like we're going to have to go on another lap but just starting to get used to this circuit. And this circuit in Portugal is fantastic. I'd love to try this one out in real life. It's very challenging though. I have crashed a few times. And uh, the AI seems to struggle around here in certain sections as well. So let's see if we can just catch up with the rider in front. And uh, the time we need to beat is a 142.026. Hopefully we can get close to that. But um, once we get a, a decent clean lap in, I will start the race. And uh, we're going to go in chase cam today because I don't really know the circuit uh, very well. And then in the next episode, we'll be back to first person. I hope you enjoyed the last episode in first person. I really enjoyed that. But next time I will do the qualifying in first person as well. Let's just keep it steady through here. That's nicely done. Just have to pick up some pace. Just coming up to the area where I've crashed a couple of times, just through here, Ooh, almost again. Have to try and keep it a little bit more controlled through there. Right, back up the hill, and we seem to be pretty quick through there. Slow it down. I've hit those boards a couple of times. Let's just see if we can just get to the end. This will be a decent lap, hopefully. And just all oh, struggling in that turn. Almost went straight into the other rider, and we're coming towards the end. Yes, if we can just nail this last right-hander, we should be okay for a decent time. Oh, it looks like someone else has crashed there. And I've seen a lot of crashes. And over the finish line. And look at that. Oh, what a decent time that was. Brilliant. Right, so that is the qualifying session over. And we were almost a second quicker than the AI, which is quite surprising considering I've never been around that circuit. And I did struggle the first... Five to ten minutes around that circuit. Anyway, let's get straight to the races. This should be a really, really good one, and hopefully we can get a decent results. So here we go. The rumble of the engines becomes deafening. Eyes on the full spin. Who will take the inside line? Right, so here we go with the race in Portugal. Let's see if we can get a decent gate drop and maybe take the whole shot and drop the clutch now. Oh, just a little bit too early. Sometimes you can time it right, but uh, not this time. Right into that first corner. Oh, someone's been taken out completely. Was that um, Hurlings? Oh, someone went uh, up in the air. But uh, let's just try and just hold at that line. And that wasn't a bad start. We're still on the bike. And we've moved up to P6. Just trying to battle into these corners. Oh, God. They're all flying around these corners pretty quickly. Let's just try and hold the inside line and try and get through this first lap without getting taken out. And we've managed to take that corner nicely in behind Kai Rowley, which is the rider that is giving us the most um, competitive uh, challenges in the races. And he's second in the championship. And uh, oh, God, almost lost the back end there. I think that was Koldenhoff. Almost took the back end of my bike then. And we've got Geyser battling as well Let's see if we can just oh he's gone a little bit off circuit then we've managed to just get back past into p3 and, uh, this hasn't been a bad first lap let's just see if we can just get past kairoli into second into first oh, just managing just to hold that nicely and we're back into first again all off circuit be careful wow almost completely mucked it up there but luckily got away with that one Let's just try and get in the inside. Okay, just trying to get in front of Kai Rowley, but he seems to be pretty quick in those corners. So let's just see if we can just keep up. And we should be able to take him in this inside line. And just try and hold it. And nicely done. And we're in P2 now on the second lap. And hopefully we can start pulling away from the rest. I mean, once uh, the uh, riders start filtering out, it's much easier to start pushing it in the corners because sometimes you don't want to go too tight in. Justin, go! Oh, wow! 
Wow, what the hell? I hit the board and I went sideways. How the hell did I stay on then? Wow, that was a very, very close moment there. And uh, we've got Kai Rowley behind us. Let's just try and hold it. Keep pushing. Let me know in the comments below if you're really looking forward to the new MXGP 2019. It's going to be awesome. Hopefully there's got to, it's got to have a lot more features on the game. So it won't be just a career mode. We'll be able to do a lot of other stuff. And I would like to do a, a lot more online races. Um, that's what we did on MXGP 2 and M MXGP 3. Didn't do it on MXGP Pro. Uh, but definitely want to do some more online stuff. So if you're interested, if you play these sort of games... Let me know in the comments below. I'd absolutely love to set up some races. Well, that's not too bad through that corner. And we're starting to settle into a rhythm. If we can hit the sort of times we hit in that uh, qualifying session. We should be all right in this race. And uh, come towards the end of the second lap. And then we've got two laps to go. And, uh, this is turning out to be a decent race. And two laps to go. There we go. So we did a 141. I think we did slightly quicker in the qualifying session, I think. So uh, I'm pretty sure we can start improving now we haven't got any other riders pushing as hard. I do think they definitely need to improve the AI level. I mean, on some circuits they really battle hard, on others they really do struggle. But we're going to find out. We need to see more gameplay of the new game. Hopefully they will put some of that intelligence they're going to be using on the MotoGP 19 game. I mean, it might be a lot hard on this sort of racing, but uh, you, ne you never know. Technology, they're always pushing to improve stuff, to make stuff more realistic. It's not too bad around there. We've done a right through that turn. I mean, we did struggle a couple of times through there. We managed to get through there nicely. We're starting to pull away as well. This has been a really good lap so far. Let's see if we can beat that lap time. And nicely done. I find uh, on MXGP Pro, the one thing um, that really bugs me is just trying to go around some circuits. You just come off in certain air. Oh, God, made a mistake. Yeah, you come off in certain areas and there's no explanation for it. Um, and it really really find that you lose the rear a lot and it just doesn't sometimes it's just not realistic enough I think the best MXGP game I've played if I was honest is MXGP 2 that was my favourite I mean 3 was okay uh, but uh, MXGP 2 was the best I've played and it seems like they did go back they have gone backwards a bit but uh, hopefully with the new game coming out they've got um, a new physics hopefully the sounds be better they need to work a little bit more on the track and the dynamic weather how the bikes react and stuff like that but um, I'm loving this circuit though definitely like this one it's not too bad through there final lap Let's try not to make any mistakes let's not give Kai Rowley a chance to get back into the race Come towards the halfway point. It's nicely done around that turn. I'm absolutely flying now. Nice clean air in front of us. No one's going to catch us now. Let's get through this section. And oh, whoops. Oh, damn. Just turned a little bit too to the right. That was a bit of a mistake. And I've given two riders an opportunity to get back in the fight, but uh, we're not having none of that. Let's just try and hold our position. Oh god, another mistake. Really throwing in the mistakes now on the final lap. We've had a nice clean and comfortable couple of laps, and then I go and throw in a couple of errors and almost cost myself the race. Right, final couple of corners. Get through here nicely. And over the finish line. So there we go. We take a win in Portugal. And uh, I don't think the AI was really giving us much grief. I mean, once we got clear from the main group of riders, we settled in. Kai Rowley got second. Guys are in third. 
They're the two pushing hardest in this championship, but we're absolutely flying away with this official rider championship. Right, let's get into the final standings. Right, that is another race victory for us. Kyra only gets second on the KTM and Geyser on the Honda in third. And we're starting to really put away in this championship. And that is round 12 out the way. Please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, share the video. And let me know in the comments below um, if you want to see some more of these type of videos on the channel before the new game comes up. Thank you and I will see you in the next episode.